Hi guys, welcome to Capture Guru. We've got a really interesting episode today. I'm going to be chatting to Jason Forbes of the Graphic Ballroom. How's it going? Yeah, good man. Good. Thanks for taking some time to chat to us and go through. We've just done a couple of really great shoots um, yeah. for Five Roses and Mimi. That's right. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about how did you get into this business? And sure, how are we going back um, yeah, 20 years now? Graphic Ballroom's been around now. Recently, we've been rebranded as GBR. So we started off as a really small studio, kind of focusing, um, kind of trying to attract the middle-sized clients, which has got middle-sized budgets. Um, and we've grown it over the years um, to now that we've had relationships with some of our big clients for up to 15 years. So I think we've really grown um, a business that has, has kind of molded itself around building relationships. Um, we've kept it quite small and, and concise to try to make sure that I still have a personal relationship with my clients and with my suppliers. You know, we've been working together for, for must be up to 15 years. Yeah, it's you been know, a long time. I think when I work, started working with you, I had hair and you were thin. Well, that's and why I've got no hair. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it's, it's very important for us as a, as, as a culture of GBR to, to work with, with suppliers over, over long periods of time and build relationships with suppliers and with clients so that we have a familiarity. Um, we understand each other's businesses and um, yeah, we, we grow from strength to strength. We've had to change, you know, times have changed, advertising's changed, design has changed. So we've, we've tried to, to mold and, and change our business as we've gone. We made quite a big decision many years ago when digital kind of took, took off and everybody was getting into digital and, and putting up some crazy websites. Um, we took a stance that we were print specialists. Um, we wanted to remain as a print specialist. Um, we do a lot of packaging work at the moment. We do still offer an array of different services, online, web, um, print, um, in-store point of sale. But kind of the stuff we love to do and the stuff that we really seem to be able to get decent budgets on and, and work on some big brands is really kind of crafting and, and, and focusing on packaging. You know, the way that we're selling product, the way that we're buying product is changing continually. But regardless of whether you're buying a product off shelf or you're buying a product online, it has to be beautifully packaged. Yeah. And even online, the more you're buying online, the only thing you can see on the, on the product is its yeah, packaging. Absolutely. Um, you don't have an opportunity to touch it and feel it and smell it and taste it. It's just purely around packaging. You know, packaging is going to be around forever. The newspaper may disappear, the book may disappear, but packaging, you know, you have to package water, you have to package whatever you buy. Um, there's nothing more rewarding for not only myself, but my team. When you walk down an aisle and you see your product on, on shelf, um, we've just repackaged Five Roses Tea. Um, it's a massive brand out there. It is South Africa's um, biggest selling tea brand. Um, and to see your product on shelf is, is unbelievable. One of the difficult things, everybody sees maybe advertising as a bit of a glamour business, but, it, and that, but it's not really. It's actually no, there's nothing glamorous about it. There's nothing glamorous about it. Except really. for those private shoots we used to do. I was going to say, <laughs> how, do, how, you know, yeah, how, do, how one keeps the enjoyment and the enthusiasm in it. And I, actually, I'll just relate a little story. I, I was um, shooting uh, what we were doing, Triumph, I think. Triumph, yeah. Triumph or Sluggy, yeah. Sluggy, yeah. yeah. We had been, been doing that for many years and we had a casting and I think there were about 10 girls standing in a row with virtually nothing on because we had to choose the right shape right. of the body and the right breast size and whatever and we're discussing this and the whole thing and my wife walks in, she looks at this lot and shakes her head and walks out and thinks, no, this can't be right. I think it's just about trying to keep this thing fun. Yeah. Um, we, you know, advertising is governed by deadlines, by stress yeah. and you've actually got to, got to find fun in it. And I know you're in a bit of a rush and you need to get to clients, you're a busy guy. Is there just one little thing, one tip you can give our viewers out there if they want to get into this industry? Just, uh, just something that yeah. maybe don't, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> but this is something no, look, I would, never, I would never say don't do it. I've, I've yeah. got a 12-year-old who, who loves to sit here and he mm. says one day I want to be, you know, I want to run this awesome. thing. Um, I think that for me, I, I started my business when I was 21. Um, so for me, that was crucial in, in, in my growth. Um, I didn't leave a, a corporate job and, and have a bond and have a wife and have a car. I started early and I grew my business from the ground um, and it, it has been the success of, of, of Graphic Ballroom. I've also, I think relationships are everything. We build business on relationships. Um, business are becoming smaller and smaller um, and it's about keeping your business small and tight and, and keeping a relationship with your, 
with your clients? I think um, that's critical. I mean, I've got clients as well that I've had for sure up to 25 years. Sure. That relationship is everything. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't it. replace that. Yeah. So there's the tip. You make sure you keep your relationship work really well with your clients. Yeah. Great. That's it. Thank you. Thanks awesome, a lot. man. Thanks, mate. Guru.